Hello friends, welcome back to the Lightford House. Today we are doing a crock pot or slow cooker meal. We're doing pork tenderloin in the crock pot. Um, so I'm using my instant precision Dutch oven today. It's by the instant pot brand. Um, this has, let me plug it in so you can see. So it's got a sear saute function, a slow cook, braise, or a manual mode. It also has a keep warm there. Okay, so for this recipe, it wants us to sear the pork tenderloin before placing it into the slow cooker or crock pot. But if you wanna skip that step, you can. If you don't have one of these Dutch ovens or a multi-cooker that can sear and slow cook, then you'll want to sear it in a skillet on the stove, or you can just skip that step altogether and just put it right into the crock pot. You don't have to sear it, but I think that it adds more flavor. So I've added some olive oil into my Dutch oven. I really like this Dutch oven because you can use it both in the oven, it's oven safe to bake bread and things like that in. Um, I do my gumbo roux in there also. And you can also use it on the stove top, of course, if you don't want to use it in its base here. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the sear and saute button on here and start. Let that oil heat up a little bit in there. I just put enough in there to kind of coat the bottom of the pot. You can move it around and this is the um, enamel cast iron finish. So it's pretty non-stick. And while that oil is heating up, we'll go over the other ingredients that we have here. The star of the show here is our pork tenderloin. And some come in a two pack. I'm not really sure how many are in here. Um, let's see, but this is like 2.22 pounds. We're gonna need four tablespoons of butter. I have salted butter here. The recipe calls for a whole onion. I just did a half of an onion there. It's a white onion. You could use yellow onion, doesn't matter. It calls for a packet of gravy mix, but I thought that this would be really good, this beefy onion soup mix. So I'm gonna use that instead of the gravy. I thought it would add more flavor, but you can do whatever you wanna do. Gravy or soup mix is fine, whatever you have on hand. And then it also calls for a half cup of beef broth. So I'm just gonna use water and then a beef bouillon cube. It's just a nor cube. And then of course some oil for sauteing if you're going to sear your tenderloin. So we're gonna go ahead and open this tenderloin, get it in the oil and sear it up. You're also gonna need some salt and pepper. So when I put it in here, I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. And um, at the end, you can garnish it with fresh parsley if you want to, but that's completely optional. By the way, guys, if you're new here, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. I'd love to have you over here as a part of my YouTube family. Okay, so there was two in this pouch, which most of them do come in a two-pack. And that's fine. That's what the recipe showed anyway. And you can hear that sizzle in the pot, which is what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper this side, then when I flip it over, I will season the other side. Just gonna sear it for a few minutes on each side. Just trying to get a little bit of color on here. And be careful because the oil could splash up and get you. Now I'm going to salt and pepper this side real quick. Keep the 
five. Okay, so once these have gotten a little searing action on each side, we're going to take them out and remove them to a plate. And then now you would just layer your onions into your slow cooker and place your pork loin over top. So we're gonna just throw these in. This pot's still hot. You can see the oil is bubbling. That's okay. Careful that the oil doesn't splash up and hurt you there. But I just cut this onion. It's just a half an onion. I thought it looked like enough, so I didn't use the full onion. And I did hit the cancel button on the sear and saute mode, so it's just simmering down. So once you get your onions in there, we're gonna add the pork loin in right back on top of the onions here. And then to this, we're gonna throw our half cup of beef broth in. In this case, I'm using the half cup of water in the bouillon cube. So we'll get that in there. water, put this cube in the center and it'll melt down as this cooks. Okay, next we're going to take our Lipton soup mix or whatever soup mix you're going to use. You can use any brand or you can use a brown gravy packet as the recipe states. I'm just pouring this all over the pork loin. And then last but not least, our four tablespoons of butter. We're just gonna cut these up into thin slices. Now again, the recipe used two pork loins just like this, so this is fine. I, I wasn't sure if the pack contained one or two, but we're just gonna cut these into thin slices and lay them right on top, kind of like you would for a Mississippi pot roast or Mississippi chicken type deal. And I'm just gonna put like four or five little pats of butter on each one. If you have one large pork loin, you might not need four tablespoons of butter, but you do you, do what you wanna do. Looks good enough to me. Now what we're gonna do is pop a lid on this. Okay, so this slow cooker setting on here, you can't adjust the temperature to high or low, but it does cook at about 203 degrees, which is like a low setting. And so you can't adjust the temperature, but you can adjust the time. And it starts, the lowest it'll do is three hours. So if you set it for three hours, after that, it'll automatically go to keep warm, just like any um, like any programmable slow cooker would. So I'm gonna hit the start button. I know um, once it gets to like the two and a half hour mark, I can stop it, or even the two hour mark. So I'm just gonna let this go. And if you have your instant precision Dutch oven, then you would just do the same. Set it for three hours, and then we'll just keep an eye on it. See, so there it goes, it's already counting down. Um, and I think I'm just gonna make some mashed potatoes on the stove to go alongside of this. But really, any side that you wanna make with this, it would be good with like a rice side, pasta side, um, and then like a veggie. So I think that's what I'll do. I also have broccoli, so maybe I'll do mashed potatoes and then broccoli with this, that sounds pretty good. But really, you could pair just about anything with a pork loin.
Okay, we are five minutes away from the two hour mark. So three hours was the shortest amount of time that I could set this instant Dutch oven for, for the slow cooker mode. So I have not peaked at all. We're about to take a look and see what we've got going on in here and it should be ready soon. Okay, this handle of this lid does get a little bit hot. Okie doke. Bring you in for a closer look. Smells delicious. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna let it continue going while I make my mashed potatoes because like I mentioned, it did say two to two and a half hours and we are not at the two and a half hour mark. We're almost at the two hour mark, but they do look good. They actually look cooked all the way through. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on and let these keep going. They look good. They look completely cooked right now. Once the mashed potatoes are done, I'll probably go ahead and turn the machine off and then we'll get a taste test in there. Okay, so I added some dry parsley on the top just for color. Totally optional, you don't have to do that. But this is done. Um, I let it go about two hours and eight minutes. My mashed potatoes are done. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these out and cut into it so that we can see what the inside looks like and give this a taste test. And then I'm gonna fix my broccoli, I'm gonna steam it in the microwave and then um, that's dinner for tonight. So I hope that you uh, enjoyed this recipe video and were able to follow along. I'll have the ingredients typed up in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. Again, you don't have to have direct measurements. You just use what you have and do what you think looks good. Like I said, I switched out the brown gravy packet for that soup mix, the onion soup mix, and I'm glad I did. It looks like it's added a ton of flavor on top of these. So anyway, let's get in here and give this a try. All right, let's cut into this and see how tender it is. There we go. Looks nice on the inside completely cooked through can you see that juice down there on the plate it is nice and juicy i'm just going to cut a little bit of this off and give it a little taste and there's going to be a ton left over for tomorrow so i won't have to cook tomorrow this is my ninja never dull chef's knife by the way nice and sharp so here is a piece of the pork tenderloin with some onion on there. Let's give this a try. It's gonna be really hot. Wow, it's really good. I'm getting that onion flavor from both the onions that were cooked in the bottom of the Dutch oven, along with that onion soup mix um, flavor. It's really hot. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna get this sliced up, add it back into the pot so that it can stay in the juices there. That's delicious. So I highly recommend that you give this one a try if you love crock pot meals. Again, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.